Good morning everyone, Tina Spalding Trance Channel here today for our Daily Course in Miracles lesson together. Thank you for joining us. It is uh, today we are doing lesson number 118 for morning and evening review. Reviewing lesson 105, God's peace and joy are mine. Today I will accept God's peace and joy in glad exchange for all the substitutes that I have made for happiness and peace. Reviewing Lesson 106. Let me be still and listen to the truth. Let my own feeble voice be still and let me hear the mighty voice for truth itself. Assure me that I am God's perfect son. On the hour, repeat, God's peace and joy are mine. On the half hour, repeat, let me be still and listen to the truth. So we are doing Lesson 118 today. A review period again. Let's see what Jesus has to say today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus and it is important for you to remember all of the things that you have chased in your life believing that they would make you happy, bring you love, bring you peace. So many of you, when you come to this text, are tired. You are tired and you are disillusioned. But as I mentioned in the previous lesson, when you are disillusioned, that means you still believe in the illusion. And that means that once you have had a little rest, you will go out and you will chase something else because you still believe in illusions, but you are disappointed in them, even though you still think there may be one, there may be something I've missed. This journey into the interior of your heart and mind, healing that heart and mind, is truly what you have blessed yourself with right now. For those of you that are doing these lessons, you have given yourself the ultimate gift which is to bring everlasting peace to your mind by aligning it to the frequency of the creator of that mind, which is love. Your natural home is love. And that is why when you judge, when you hate, when you fear, you feel terrible because you are not in alignment with your true self. Once you get this, once you truly understand that to feel at peace or contentment or to be even happy means that you are in alignment with God's will for you, then you begin to really enjoy life because you do not think, oh, well, I must toil away at something I hate every day because that means I'm a productive and worthwhile member of society. No, you say, I'm going to learn to surf. I have always wanted to learn to surf when I'm on that board. I am so happy. That must be God's will for me. Now, there are those of you that say would say this leads to a self-indulgent world. But we ask you to look at the state of your world right now. We ask you to look at the suicide rates and the drug use uh, rates and the alcoholism rates. We ask you to look at those rates. We ask you to look at the environment. We ask you to look at your inner cities. We ask you to look at your, the health of your young children. By their fruits ye shall know them. Are you so sure that it will corrupt society to be happy? Are you so sure? I am that one that you know as Jesus. I am sure happiness will not corrupt your society. In the, in, it will be the absolute opposite. It will bring joy where there is darkness. It will bring love where there is fear. And it will bring happiness to those of you that are following this path. There are many pathways. There are a thousand pathways and you are free to choose them if you wish. But for those of you that are here this morning, we say, perhaps this is your language. Perhaps this is your pathway. See where it leads you. We will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. See you tomorrow. Bye.